Welcome as always, like and subscribe. Thank you for everyone who checked out my Evloev versus Dewadu analysis. Please leave a comment, change my mind. I'm very interested to learn more of what other people think about that particular bout. It's a tough call, it's gonna be a great fight. Just like this bout on the undercard, Drew Dober versus Brad Riddell. This is an awesome fight, I'm looking forward to it. These guys bang, 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 bang so strong uh, very skilled uh, you would think they might look like brawlers but both of these guys I, I like the the patience they have in their striking we're going to see a really really good bout here uh, this has to be a can't miss uh, match on this card this is huge for both fighters as Dover is coming off a loss where he was obliterated by Islam Makachev and Riddell needs this to just establish himself as an uh, elite UFC fighter he fights infrequently, so they won't get many views at him, and he just doesn't have the following and is yet to break into that top 10 where everyone in lightweight, where you need to be to be have any success whatsoever uh, to remain uh, relevant. So both these fighters need to break out, and so this is going to be an intense match. We know what each of these fighters like to do. Riddell is a Muay Thai coach who's contributed to the success of uh, Muay Tiger Muay Thai as well as City Kickboxing. He's helped out um, Alexander Volkanovsky as well as Israel Adesanya. The guy is a rock solid training partner as well as a solid uh, striking fighter. Uh, both these guys like to strike. Uh, Riddell was a minus 350 favorite. Uh, he also has a very solid stance, very uh, uh, different type of Muay Thai style. He doesn't sort of uh, stay on his toes and he'll throw off some kicks, but he's not really a fierce, uh, sort of fast, rapid, or uh, un doesn't use any motions unnecessarily, which serves to his favor, favor because in this match, cardio between both of these guys and maintaining your energy is going to be key because these guys are going to go at 100% during the first round, and how things happen in that first round is definitely going to set the pace for the rest of the fight. I really think this is going to be a, a mixed fight. We're going to definitely see some ground action. We're going to see some talk. Uh, Striking, of course, where uh, because R Riddell just doesn't have great takedown defense. Um, he can grapple and does have good takedown defense, but I don't think he's faced somebody like Dober who really has the strength and ability uh, to uh, mix it up as well as to match Rydell's strength because Rydell is a monster. This dude, even at lightweight, I, I think he might be uh, perfect, good, great size for lightweight. He is just fiercely strong. So yes, I see Dober will have the grappling advantage, but Riddell will be prepared to counter wrestle and grapple. He defended well. He defends well in the clinch and never really gives up. This bout uh, just is just like the Elohev uh, Dewadu fight is. I think it's going to end up being determined on the feet. Dober is going to get his takedowns, but I think he's going to be using too much energy, exhausting, keeping Rydell down, uh, fighting. Uh, Riddell's attempts to get back up or possibly even reverse him. Riddell is savvy on the ground. And despite what is listed in Tapology, his striking defense is actually pretty good. I understand the hesitancy with even considering uh, betting a plus 112 Brad Riddell when Drew Dober, who has more octagon experience, is a reasonable minus 139. Looking up and down, that's really the most sound chalk pick on the card. Rivers won't list their props until Thursday, so it's harder for me to get a better read on this bout. I was initially on the Rydell side, but I see the value in the favorite Dober. Although Dober got dismantled in his last outing, it was by Islam Makachev, who's another pupil of uh, Khabib, a championship contender, an elite fighter. So Dober, I think, is also at that elite level, even though he got dismantled. Um, he's the gatekeeper here. Honestly, I don't play many favorites on the money line, but anything under 200 for me is acceptable chalk. And I think Dober is going to be able to mix it up enough to wear on Rydell. Yes, Rydell is a cardio demon. He is a death machine. He's the guy that inspires and pushes the likes of Adesanya and Volkanovski. But Drew Dober is a big explosive fighter. Riddell is a very in, is very willing to exchange, and this is going to get, allow Dober to dictate basically where the fight's going to be. I don't see Dober finishing Rydell, but it might be a play. Uh, but Dober by decision is the more likely, likely outcome and will yield a good return. So that might be a play this evening. 
it's interesting how I was doing these analysis. I'm going through these slides, et cetera, et cetera, going through my notes, looking at tapes and things like that, and having this idea that I was going to bet Riddell, and then I started looking at things, and I switched my own mind. So like and subscribe, and leave a comment. Uh, maybe you can change my mind. And lastly, which fight would you like me to analyze next? I'd like to, uh, I'm not going to be able to get through the whole card. So um, it'd be cool to just check out what could be next. So like and subscribe.